snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. All of Pepper's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We will go. Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! I love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> Teddy Playgroup. It is home time at Peppa's Playgroup. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup is coming to stay. Who? Teddy Playgroup is our school mascot. It's Peppa's turn to take him home. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. It's all in his suitcase. I see. 
Pepper, Daddy Pig, and Teddy Playgroup have arrived home. Mummy Pig, we have a special guest staying with us tonight. Really? Who's that? Teddy Playgroup. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. What's the photo album for? We take photos of him doing exciting things. Oh. My friends have took Teddy Playgroup all over the world. London, Paris, Egypt. Oh, I say, Teddy Playgroup does have an exciting life. Um, I hope he has an exciting time with us. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop says everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. <coughs> How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. Where are you going? We're going to stick pictures of Teddy Playgroup on trees. Oh. Daddy, wait for me! Why are we sticking photos on trees, Daddy? When people see the pictures of Teddy Playgroup, they'll know he's lost and they can help us find him. Oh. This is Teddy in my bed. <laughs> this is Teddy in the kitchen. <laughs> and these are George's pictures at the supermarket. Oh, Teddy Playgroup. I know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Mummy, we know where Teddy Playgroup is. Yes, he's in the shopping bag with the pasta and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is showing her class Teddy Playgroup's photo album. That Teddy Playgroup wouldn't have an exciting adventure with us. Then luckily, my daddy lost him at the supermarket. <gasps> but we found him again in the shopping. Ooh. That was an exciting adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day, and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? 
That's right! Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not Easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> Get on your marks. Ready. Get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at Talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter. Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. 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 <laughs> Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> there's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? 
There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello, where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going to Duckland in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there! Beep, beep. Sailing on the river <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home! Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> It's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Santa's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up. <coughs> Santa's <laughs> Bubble mix, <laughs> comets, and tangerines. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, it's Christmas. Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny, Grandpa. Don't ah! panic. All hands on deck. <laughs> Clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink, and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <laughs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents. After Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. 
What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Mmm, <laughs> 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 this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> It is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> This is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I got Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. Then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> my dog! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead! Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Pa, can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> captain 
Captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa! We're stuck! I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <coughs> Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah? Uh, message to Granny? <sniffs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat? To rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes, Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot! I'm a clever parrot! <laughs> Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, 
Steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> gym class. Pepper and her friends are going to the gym today. <laughs> Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Ah, 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 ah. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I 
can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. <laughs> Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done. What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it, like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grampy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh. Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know. But it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Peppa, I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Ooh, Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> All the grown ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone.
caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Mm. Uh, oh. 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 It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr. Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like... Jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks! <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Chloe's big friends. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big cousin Chloe. <laughs> 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 Chloe! Chloe! Oh, Chloe! Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <laughs> I'm Peppa. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? Yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. What about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your not, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Touch up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. 
I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> see Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Pepper. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Pepper and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. It is the end of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Children, tomorrow is talent day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. My talent is playing the guitar. <laughs> The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for Talent Day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry, you can decide tomorrow. OK. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah. Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh. Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. <laughs> it only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa. I was going to skip or sing or dance. 
do they all been done? A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. Think of something you really like to do. I know. I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Santa's Grotto. It is Christmas Eve. Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. <laughs> What are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <coughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Peppa and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers. Snow is falling, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. 
Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Peppa and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. <laughs> the train ride. Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride. <laughs> Mr Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Hooray! Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train is on the track. Half the bug, half the bug, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> oh, here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box, <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! <laughs> Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa. My Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. Clickety-clack, <laughs> clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train runs on the track. <laughs> That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. It's Mrs Duck and her friends. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen a tunnel. <gasps> hey, it's gone dark. We're in a tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> last stop. Wall change. Everybody up now. But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um, Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> The 
Secret Club. <laughs> Peppa has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Shh. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello! Shh. Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. You have to say the secret word. Shalamakuki. Shalamakuki? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits? Biscuits for my friends, please. Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Ooh. I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs>